Hey guys, Andrew Shroud here on the sideboard. I'm here with Anson Quatch. How's it going? Hi, doing good. And you have shown up with Mardu Warriors for this tournament. Yeah. Uh, a bit of a spicy number. So t tell me a little about how you arrived at this deck and just why you decided to play it. Um, so in the beginning, I, I'm actually an aggressive player. So I sure. like playing okay. aggro. I All hate right. playing mid-range control okay. or combo All right. for that fact. And I, you know, it's just part of my nature. So I always try to conceive of a very good aggro deck every standard format. Okay. This format is definitely very mid-range heavy. Yeah, I know. So uh, you kind of found the one aggressive option that was available. Yes. All right. So the kind of the core of this deck, the, I guess the aggressive core, uh, you have the eight one drops, yep. four tormented hero and four blood soaked champion, and then all eight of the chiefs. Yes. So it's four chief of the edge, four chief of the scale. Yes. Uh, talk to me a little about that kind of creature package. Um, so obviously you just want to curve out. It's a curve out dot deck. Okay. Um, turn one play. And turn two is actually where it's really important, where you decide to play a Chief or Edge, okay. or um, Chief of Scales. If you're on offense and you're not expecting a Drown and Sorrow main deck, okay. um, you'll just Chief of Scale, or Chief of Edge. And then you kind of punish your opponents from there. Um, the reason Chief of Scale is in the deck is because um, I noticed there's a lot of abs in, and, like Drown and Sorrow is in a lot of sideboards. Okay. And I don't want to lose to that card. So that's like the problem of other aggro decks. They just kind of wash up to Drown and Sorrows. Sure. With, okay. um, Chief of scale, I kind of like, yeah, you may get one for one your opponent. Okay. That's it. Yeah. So. And as we'll see later, you've actually got a, a lot of spells that actually protect you from Drown and Sorrow as yes, well. Yes, yes. Uh, so, yeah. So, Chief of the scale kind of protects you from, from the sweepers. Chief of the edge lets you punch through, punch through Sylvan Caryatids. Yep. So. Uh, other trades, make profitable trades. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much that's it. All right. Uh, and then, Four Goblin Rabble Master, it's a sweet card. It's okay. a warrior, too. Yeah. yeah. So, that, that rounds out your creature suite. Uh, and then when you get to the spells, basically every spell, every non-creature spell on here is kind of its own talking point, it seems like. But uh, we'll start with, uh, I think, kind of the, the centerpiece for Mardu Ascendancy. Yes. Yeah, so because it's a curve out dot deck, um, going turn one creature, turn two creature, and slamming down Mardu Ascendancy on turn three, okay. even with a chief of scale, you're swinging for six on turn three. Sure. And it just builds from there. At that point, you don't have to commit on the board anymore. Okay. And it protects you from anger and it protects you from drown and sorrows. All right. And it does favorable trades. Okay. So that's the main reason why I have Mario Sennessy in my deck. Gotcha. All right. Uh, our, yeah. yeah. And then you actually have an, another kind of anthem effect in the form of three Obelisk of Earth. Yeah, so if um that's that's kinda tricky. It doesn't always it doesn't always play off correctly, but the ideal scenario is like turn three. You just like pass, and then I have Mardu Charm in my main deck. Okay. So I usually go EOT, make two warriors, All right. and then follow up with a land drop and tap out to play Obelisk Urge for my turn one and two plays. Okay. So I swing out for eight on turn four. Sure. And then the following up turn is usually lethal. Yeah, that so. seems like a reasonable curve. Uh, of course, all, all of your actual creature cards uh, are warriors, and Mardu, Ascendant, or Mardu Charm also makes warriors. Yes. Uh, and then the Rabble Master and the Mardu Ascendancy, th those make goblins. Yes, they interact pretty well actually together so all right and then you know we, we talked about how you wanted to be drown in sorrow yep uh you, you have chief of the scale you have obelisk of Erd, you have yep. martyr ascendancy but you, you weren't done yet uh one last four of that uh kind of kind of raised my eyebrows a little for johnny's presence so why is this the combat trick of choice um so because i have that little bit toughness on the butt uh -huh. and sometimes that power too sure i can punch through carried or not parried, uh coursers okay and if Anza's, just like anything, and kind of like blow them out. Or they, when they go to like try to kill a chieftain with hero's downfall. All right. Just like pro, like sure. indestructible. It's it just it's usually a blowout factor a lot okay. of times. So it's kind of like the good half of a god's willing. Yeah. And it lets you trade up as well. Yes. Okay. And it has drive. So when, you know, late into the game, I can play yeah. a lot of okay. my dudes. Uh, talk to me a little about what you're hoping to play against when you're playing a deck like this. I like to play against blue back. Um, token seems actually pretty fine for me. Okay. Uh, blue eye heroic. Because I'm, I'm usually faster than them. Okay. Um, and pretty much like those three decks are fine. Um, Sedisi and Absence is like 50 50. Okay. Depends if they get to turn two Carrot into turn three Rhino start. Gotcha. Which is always hard to beat for any yeah, deck. So like but the, the mid rangey like, nut start is, can be troublesome. Yeah, for any right. deck. But what, what, do you, what do you think is the, the bad matchup here? What are you hoping to avoid playing against? Actually, Mono Red. Okay. <laughs> All right. Just, just, just Mono Red. Is this the deck that can get under you, I suppose? Yeah. And they don't paint themselves, so. All right, cool. Uh, so off to, what, an, an X and two start? Um, 
I'm X and two right now, yes. Right. So I got two more rounds. Sure, yeah. within sniffing distance of that day two. Yes, that would be interesting. Thanks for sitting down with me, Anthony. All right, thank you. Stick around. We've got plenty more coverage coming of the Standard Open here in Columbus.